Hi, this is Bart from Lumisoft and I'm presenting you the X32 control app. It's a background application that enhances the connectivity between the X32 family of mixers and the X-Touch. Um, so, start off, I have here my X32 rack connected to the X-Touch and I have here the X32 edit application um, so and everything's connected so I have here my first eight channels on the X touch um, which are of course my first eight channels here when you do the fader bank you go to the next and so on nothing special um, <clears throat> but the enhancement is when you, um, for example, for the first channel, uh, when you press the EQ button, the screen on the X32 app changes to show you the EQ. Even also, if you want to have the gate, you have here the gate, you have the configuration, dynamics, main, and the percents. Okay, another improvement is that you can now use um, the layer buttons on the side of the X32 application um, and the X-Touch will follow um, the channels on those layers including the user layers which are freely assignable. So to demonstrate that I simply push the cursor buttons up and down to change layer page and when I do you see that the X touch and the follows and I also prepared two user pages here this one and this one on the last one I have my monitor buses on the first one I have my eight drum uh, channels followed by my vocal group guitar bass keyboard drum group and my mono output channel and then followed by the two vocal channels so when i on my first bank on this layer i have my eight drum channels on the second bank i have my vocal bus guitar bass keyboard, drum group and the mono um, which of course follows and on the next bank I have my two vocal channels and when I go to the next layer I have here my monitor Bus one two six. Okay. Um, I also changed the way the encoder assign buttons work. Um, so now you have the the EQ is stay the same, which is EQ. And by the way, you can scroll the EQ channel with the first encoder. And as you can see here, it changes to all the channels that are in the current layer. So you can easily adjust EQ here. And when I go to the next layer, I have here my buses. Okay. Um, next is, so that was EQ here. From the first button, I have the config, which basically selects the config tab here, and you can adjust gain of the channel, phantom polarity link, <coughs> the low cut and delay, which are all controlled from here, and the insert you can choose an insert to 
just answer that and you can also choose a pre-post all from the last encoder next button is the gate here you can uh, adjust all the controls of the gate attack hold release the sidechain filter then we have the dynamics which is the compressor which also here you have all the controls with the encoder knobs next is the main section where you put your channel you can do the pan put it in the main mix or in the mono and have the level set okay and you can also adjust the auto mix weight xy the dca group and the mute group and the last button is the bus sense this one split in two because you have 16 buses here but you have only eight encoders so you simply press the bus send button again and then you have the buses 9 through 16 like the global um, also the effects when you press effects you have here the effects tab you can pop at the first button here you can pop up the effects window and change whatever you like with all the encoder knobs back to global um, Another thing I added was the mute group selection. So I'll show you here. Uh, because I didn't like the tiny squares where you have to be fiddling with for um, to select a mute group for a channel. Um, instead, you can use the X touch buttons also. Menu, for example, for the channel 14 here. When I press and hold down the select button, then I can choose to which mute group it goes by simply pressing the mute group buttons. Say I have mute group one and three. Now when I release, the lights go out and you can see now that on those this channel 14, the two squares are red it's lighting a bit so you can see it um, okay um, so now whenever I change I hit mute group 1 or mute group 3 it is muted not on the other ones if you forgot on which mute group those channel is inserted simply press the select button press and hold the select button and you see the lights come up um, for the selected mute group and you can select it whenever you like then there's the bus sends um, nothing special there this selects the sends on faders for the first bus um, and it all uses the channels that are selected in the layer or which you are not you are right now apart from the 16 buses i've also added a button for the mono bus 
it's the same that activates the sense on faders for the monobus. There is also a clear solo button. Uh, so whenever you solo some channels, the clear solo button lights, and when you press that, solo is cleared. Okay, so that's it. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.